Hi, this is BK for ManForWars.com, where I'm promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents look, talk, and feel great offline and teach kids to, and to help more of us locally discuss and share great online info we find offline uh, to reach many more people, many new people, help them think for themselves, and as, uh, as better people making better places to live, succeed in doing that. So check out ManForWars.com for some uh, of the problems, reactions, and solutions related to that. Um, and this is also related to that. Um, this is COVID-19 operations. Why men must fight for their countries with help from the women's auxiliary. Why men must fight for their countries with help from the women's auxiliary, right? Now, that's an old term. You can look it up for more meanings. But basically it meant, you know, um, uh, the guys got off to war and the girls, you know, um, uh, uh, sewed parachutes and just supported the war effort in their girl way. But we weren't all the same and we weren't all the same and all not supposed to fight. Um, and, you know, to this day, nobody disagrees when it comes to, you know, uh, me, for example, saying men should man up and, and handle this stuff. They, they don't troll. They don't disagree. They don't say you're totally wrong. They just, you know, sometimes they get their manties or panties in a bunch and go, I can't say anything, right? I just, I can't say anything. I'll just ignore it or I'll casually co-sign it or I'll think about it, maybe act on it in some ways. But I don't get people, you know, saying, you're totally wrong. Men should never fight, never fight, never fight for, for, for where they live. You know, whether or not there's a crisis, no way, dude, you're crazy, right? It's just one of those things where it's still in a lot of men, right? And it's in a lot of women to appreciate that, but it's getting the crap kicked out of it. And part of that kind of commie zombie uh, compliant corporate clone, you know, men more like girls, girls more like men make us all same, can't respect each other, communicate well, um, you know, that that's causing problems. It's making it tough for us to just, just be near each other and respect each other and communicate well, let alone deal with a crisis. So um, so that's the women's auxiliary. And, and so, um, you know, um, that's why, um, you know, it's, it's seen as, um, that's why we're discouraged from fighting now, right? That means that we don't respect each other. And when men don't respect each other, then no one does because men are the source of respect for other men and for women and children. Men are the sort of ultimate arbiters of that. Guy wants to know he's cool, straight up, there you go. Girl wants to know she's attractive, great, you know. You can tell if it matches, we can tell if it works, if we work. If we don't work, then eh, whatever. Hey, nice, nice purse, bro. It's just ugh, gross, right? But if we work, then we can tell if what a girl is, is wearing or doing works, and that's how they get respect for being good company, which is all they really want. They want to be good company. They want to be like, girls here, both feel better, going to treat her better than you would a typical guy, double standard. Not, you know, not, not um, if they're not nice, but if they are nice, then, you know, you take the edge off, a bunch of pit bulls barking, cute little poodle comes over, and you don't keep, ah, you just, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, how's it going, sweetie? Oh, good, good, good. What are you guys out about? Oh, this and that, you know. Um, so, so, um, so, so that's why no one respects anyone, and, and that's part of the plan, right? That's why gender responsible is better than gender equal or neutral, because gender equal or neutral means we're all the same, we're all equal, uh, we all hear the same things, think the same things, say the same things, do the same things, we're all the same, why bother talking, let's just be quiet, bored, kind of sketchy and uncomfortable near each other, right? And, and, and make sure that, that you know, um, all we do is bother each other and maybe other people, right? Which is a, a problem. Um, so, um, so, so, so the second point is that um, women have always supported uh, 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 men who fought, right? Women have always supported men who fought, right? They support men who want to be successful. If you're ambitious, they'll support that. If you want to fight, if you want to be scrappy, they'll support that. Like they'll they'll support that. They will, right? If you can be any good at it, and you can do it well, and you can make sense, and and they also like men who can talk, but often just not to them. Near them, they're fine with. Near them, they're totally cool. But directly to them, you can be like, ah, the globalists, eugenicists, goddamn Illuminati, pedophile, Satanists, they want to kill us all, right? And if your girl's over there and she hears it, she'd be like, ooh, my giny tingles. You say that to her, she'd be like, oh, frigid, what are you doing? I'm a girl, you jerk, right? So um, so they do like men who can talk, you know, but up, up, sometimes not to them. With men, you talk more about things. With women, you talk more around things, a little bit more sens uh, sensitive to, to that, to validate. Confident masculine strength meets and confirms the same, creates a safe space uh, for graceful feminine vulnerability. That's how you respect and empower each other, put each other in a good mood, and kick ass, right? 
if you got to get a little quieter around the girls, you know, you both better be cool about it. And you both better be good at, at why in terms of her being a relaxing, graceful, feminine presence in good company. And then you chill out, you get in a good mood and you get back to yelling, right? That's, that's how it works. Otherwise it doesn't. Um, now it's not about being smart or about being stupid. It's about the sort of uh, testosterone and the physical nature of being a creature on planet earth, right? There's a reason a squirrel, you know, you know, just runs around shaking everywhere. And there's a reason an elephant just kind of lazily wanders anywhere it wants, right? Um, and, and it's not personal. It's not whatever. It's not, I don't hate women. I don't hate men. I don't hate anybody, right? Unless they're, they're really hateable. Um, but there's a reason why, why that happens. And the bigger, stronger creatures don't care, whereas the smaller ones have to worry. Guy crosses the street, car's there, car maybe trying to rush him off the road could barely notice or not notice at all or just look over huh be texting might even get honked at yeah i could just look over huh yeah whatever give him the finger if you want right girl being rushed off the road by car she's running she might walk slow look cool try and feel hot you know enjoy the journey cute little hips make circles when she walks whereas men walk straight to home depot maybe jump over a car on the way there no cute little hips more athletic right um but guys don't worry and then girls do and that's that's micro versus macro, right? In terms of sheer intelligence, right? When it comes to the curves and the data and so on, right? Girls are more uh, the same, um, you know, and they, they insist and don't wear white after Labor Day and so on, right? They're more herd-like creatures, whereas men have more complete idiots and more super geniuses, right? So our, you know, um, intelligence spectrum, for example, is different, right? There's more idiots, criminals, scumbags, garbage, right? And there's more super geniuses, top doctors, scientists, world leaders, people that can change the entire world in the course of history, right? It's more of a man thing to do. Not saying girls can't, not saying girls shouldn't. I'm just saying girls shouldn't be forced to, and you shouldn't be forced to apply standards to men and women that don't make them happy uh, and don't make them happy with each other or anybody else and just make us easier to control. So um, so that's, that's important there. And women have always been supportive of, uh, of men who fought, right? Um, in, in, in Europe, for example, right? Um, when the Muslims, you know, launched their crusades, you know, it's like, oh, for Allah, we are going to convert you all. We are going to kill or convert you all or Allah will not be happy, right? And it was like, ah, right? And they're, 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 they're showing up in Europe, right? And the men are like, oh, crap. And we got the Muslim hordes coming from, you know, uh, in a Muslim bill, right? Africa, Middle East, whatever. And, uh, and they're attacking, right? And the guys would man up, arm up, you know, connect with each other, respect each other, and try and fight back and defend themselves and where they live, right? And the girls, you know, the, 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 the British girl or the Spanish girl, or whatever, oh, oh, thank you so much for fighting. Uh, you want a sandwich? You want a blowjob? I just, whatever, whatever, go, go, get them, get them, fight, fight, fight. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, 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 right? That's what they do, right? And they, they, were, they were supportive, right? Um, and in fairness, when the Christians were attacking the Middle East, and it was the Christian Crusades, that's it, we got to convert you all for Jesus. If we don't convert you all for Jesus or kill you, then Jesus will be mad, right? And it might be partly ideology, it might be partly leaders in charge who want to just conquer that part of the world, you know, whatever, 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 right? You know, I actually want to get rich off this, but I'm going to tell you, it's because if you don't do it, God will be upset, whatever the hell bullshit that is. But when the Christians uh, crusades were attacking the Muslims, then the Muslim girls were like, oh, oh my God, please, please, please fight. You want falafel? You want blowjob? Please, please, we must defend. Yes, please, big, strong man. Yes, 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 please, 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 right? So same thing, right? And today, with respect to the COVID-19 operations and coronavirus pandemic, um, the same shit will happen. You know, we're stuck at home anyway. Man up, woman will chill out. You know, help other men man up. Make sure women and children chill out. And then you can empower each other, respect each other, communicate well, and mitigate um, what, uh, you know, what's going on when it comes to the virus. Yes, concern, have to do more than just wash our hands and stay away from each other. There's vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, there's zinc, uh, there's tonic water, which has quinine in it, which is the same thing in uh, hydroxychloroquine. Yeah, one of the drugs that's been shown in three different countries in clinical trials to kill coronavirus in most people in three to six days, right? Even famous Hollywood people are taking it. And yet a lot of the media working for the globalists that wants to make things worse are hiding that information from most people. So men can find that information, share it with most people, help people relax, and then help people question 
uh, the official responses in their countries. Hey, if you care about us, why don't you tell us about the drug, the old safe malaria drug, chloroquine, um, along with a couple of other things. It's been around for 50, 60 years. Why don't you tell us about that and how that can mean that we can cure most people and get back to work within a month as opposed to it's terrible, 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 no hope, no hope, no hope, doing the best we can. We will just make pre preparations to throw all of you on welfare uh, for the next couple of years, right? And cause massive inflation and destroy the dollar. So you could be a billionaire, but uh, when a loaf of bread costs a billion bucks, you know, it won't be so fun, right? I've always wanted to be a billionaire, but now with the inflation, it's worthless, right? So that's an issue. Um, you know, um, and uh, women, um, you know, with all due respect, and I like women, right? But I, I, again, I treat women like women, men like men. Um, they either appreciate it uh, or they try and mess with me and I don't get messed with and messed up, you know. Women are more like a, um, more like a nice sports car, right? They got nice lines, nice curves, you know, they can go pretty fast, they look great, right? Uh, but they will break down more often, right? So it's not your everyday car necessarily, right? If you just, you know going around everywhere, right? You could have a nice Ferrari, great lines, great curves, looks great. But, you know, you're going to have to be careful driving it over potholes or, or speed bumps. And, and you're going to have to worry about, you know, something messing up with all that beautiful, delicate technology, right? Um, and men are more like Ford F-150 trucks. They just keep on going. You know, they'll go into this, haul this crap, bang into this crap, crap will bang into it. And they can just kind of keep on going because they're kind of less delicate, right? So, um, so, 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 you know, as, as part of that, um, you know, um, you know, w w you know, uh, men uh, are more durable when it comes to dealing with stuff, right? And if you want men to be good at being men and women to be good at being women, you have to respect this, not look at this as putting anybody down, but look at this as saying, I am responsible, not gender equal, gender neutral, you know, gender responsible, right? I have to make sure, right? I'm not competing. Right. As part of Man for Wars, you got to win the battle of the sexes. You got to win the war on for your balls, the war on for their eggs. There's all sorts of wars out, out there, right? That you can, you know, intellectually help win. Manforwars.com, right? Um, and um, and and so, um, you know, they even if they really hate something, right? Because of the physical nature, right? <clears throat> you know, uh, they they you know they, they can say you know oh it's not that bad oh you know, whatever, you know, so what, or whatever, right? Or they won't be as authoritative in terms of defending their dignity and their honor as a man would, right? For example, I'm at Queen Street, uh, no, sorry, King Street, um, King Street West and Bathurst in downtown Toronto, right? Uh, uh, see a homeless guy, right? Uh, uh, you know, and he's asking, uh, I think I've seen him before too, like I have given a buck or two before or whatever, right? So there was some relationship there, but it could happen depending, you got to calculate too. Not every man is, I'm average height, average weight, average build, right? As, as, um, as, 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 as Chris Rock said, you know, you know who you can and can't say certain things to, right? If I'm average height, average weight, average build with another guy who's about the same, I can kind of speak my mind more freely. If I'm dealing with somebody like Shaquille O'Neal, right, who's, you know, seven foot tall, 350 pounds, I have to be a little bit more careful, right? And when it comes to girls and just guys in general, it's like that, right? So um, back to the anecdote. I'm at King West in Bathurst. Just, just popped in my mind because I'm, I'm talking about this. And um, there's a homeless guy that's going, hey, lady, hey, lady, do you have a dollar? And she's like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I've got to go. You know, and he starts following her. Oh, come on, lady, I'm sure you have a dollar. And he's following her up the street, right? So I snap, I go, hey buddy, listen, leave that girl alone or, or I'll never, or, or I'll never give you a dollar again. And, 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 you know, and, and if we're not cool and you're not cool, you know, then, then, you know, I'm yelling at him to get him to leave her the hell alone. Right. And, uh, about my size, right. Not a monstrous, crazy, psycho, uh, homeless guy, but about my size. And I yell at him, right. And, you know, he's bothered me. I yell the same thing as buddy. If you don't leave me alone right now, I'll, I'll never give you a buck again. Right, you get the hell away from me. As opposed to sorry, I have to go, and then following her up. Oh, come on, lady, I'm so sorry, I have to go. Right, like that's there's a difference, right? And again, nothing against them. I love the girls. I just think men got to man up and, and 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 protect you know other men and women and children where they live. And if you think you're crazy, bro, that's so stupid. Ha ha ha. Well, now nah, good times it works, and in bad times it's really necessary. Um, <clears throat> and sort of to speak on that, there's a great DMX song. The great rapper DMX, who made a whole career off saying, Dog, don't bitch out. Don't let your boys bitch out. Girls bitch out. Or kids bitch out. Arr, arr. 
right? He, he made seven albums saying that. Now it sold like five, 10 million copies. Everybody loves it. I say it all the time, people love it. They sort of love and hate me for it because they feel guilty or they feel hopeful or whatever. And people are really nice to me when I don't bitch out and act like a bitch with anybody else or really do much with somebody acting like a bitch with me, right? So they're like, ah, cool, it could be straight up, not unsafe to be near you or nice to you or cool with you, so fine, right? So I get it, but um, but but you know, um, DMX is one of the best people ever. You know, if you know the rapper DMX, you you might have heard his songs like um, "Y'all Go Make Me Lose My Mind." Up in here, up in here. That's about this. Guys, don't bitch out. Um, X gone, give it to you. You motherfuckers never wanted nothing but your life saved, bitch, and that's on a light day. It's, it's about this. Rough Riders anthem. Stop, drop. Shut them down, open up shop. That's about this. It's it, it, the last um, part of the song is um, another unsolved mystery. It's going down in history. Niggas ain't never did shit to me. Bitch ass niggas can't get to me. Got to make a move. Got a point to prove. Got to make them groove. Got them all like ooh. So until the next time you hear this nigga rhyme, try to keep your mind on getting pussy and crime. Do 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 stop. Drop. Shut them down, open up shop. Talk is cheap, motherfucker. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right? And this is an anti-LGBTQ because if most people straight are great at it, then LGBTQ people can fit in too. And if not, then they're just assholes like anybody else. And if they can't be nice, polite ladies and gents or some version, you want to switch, buddy? No problem. Take it seriously. Drop that tranny like it's NASCAR or just drop it. You want to be gay? No problem. Be good at it. Be good at being a nice gay guy who gets along with a bunch of nice straight people at the bank. Nobody minds. You don't mind them. They don't mind you. Don't go crazy. Don't complain uh, that, that that little kids need to learn how you have sex or you have to uh, you have to have them sit on your lap at libraries and read stories to them when you're a, a man in a dress. You trans girl, be a nice girl. Don't be a bitch who's uh, bullying your way. Uh, into uh, into uh, uh, molesting kids or or, 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 or or doing whatever you want and going, I'm trans, it doesn't matter. I'm a trans girl. It's like, you shitty at it. You're just a bitch. Like any other, if a normal girl was a bitch or a guy was a bitch, screw that, right? So, um, so, 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 so there's a difference, but, but DMX is one of the best um, for all the people that liked it, all the men out there, especially that, that love this shit back in the day, you can kind of revisit some of that shit. Music is a real key to this. Uh, like DMX and X gonna give it to you says, First we gonna rock, then we gonna roll, then we let it pop, go, let it go. X gonna give it to you, he gonna give it to you, X gonna give it to you, he gonna give it to you. It was repopularized by the first Deadpool movie using it as their commercial and, and, and part of their soundtrack a couple of years ago, right? That's what that means, right? First we're gonna rock and roll, listen to some music, get in a good mood, and then let it pop, lick off a shot, right? You know, defend your honor, defend your character, defend your hood, defend your where you live, right? And once we get music gets us in a good mood, gets us going, then we go kick ass, right? And so that's a real key to uh, to what's going on. Now, um, <clears throat> on on that, on the DMX, um, there's a classic song relating to um, uh, women, and uh, it's 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 DMX, No Love For Me, right? It's DMX and uh, Drag On, one of his uh, colleagues. And um, the hook is, Ain't no other cats got love for me. Ain't no cats gonna bust slugs for me. Ain't no cats gonna shed blood for me. But my dog is gonna be a thug for me. Ain't no other cats got love for me. Ain't no cats gonna bust slugs for me. Ain't no cats gonna shed blood for me. But my dog's gonna be a thug for me. Uh uh. And that's that's the song, right? And um, he doesn't. He 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 shouts out the girls. Right? He shouts out, you know, only reason to come around is for the hose. Pipe work, I lay it down for the hose. Hit him off with that dark brown, you know? But ain't no other cats got love for me. He's like, I love girls. But no cats, no cats, girls are going to, you know, got love for me in the sense of risking their life to save mine. They're not going to shoot anybody for me, right? They're not going to kill anybody, shed blood for me. But my dogs, my guys, they'll do that. Right? So I love them. Love them. They're great. Love girls. But, 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 come on. Let's be practical about this, right? Um, and as part of the bridge um, in, in the song, he says, Do you hear what I tell you? Understand what you hear? Don't let nobody tell you what to hope and to fear. Do you hear what I tell you? Understand what you hear? Don't let nobody tell you what to hope and to fear. Uh, uh, right? And other people have talked about that. Don't let the girls control your response to a crisis, right? If if there's if your neighbors are loud and your girl wants to call the cops and you happen to be a man who can act like one, 
don't call the cops and screw up your relationship. I'm not saying they all would or whatever, whatever, but just man up and say, you know what, honey, don't worry about it. I'll just go over and talk to them, right? They're our neighbors. They might be loud and rowdy or whatever, but I'm a man. Instead of calling the cops on my noisy neighbors, I'll go over, talk to them man to man or man, good at being a man with a woman and, uh, and, and you know, we'll get them to, 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 to settle it down a bit. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll call the cops, right? So that's the difference, right? And then when it comes to the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, oh, shut up, stay inside, don't do anything. Everybody, it's like, whoa, 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 I get it, right? But men can move safely and effectively wherever they can in this environment to help each other man up, wake their neighbors, help them think for themselves. You can see the description for sort of a COVID-19 uh, operations manual below, right? Um, and, uh, and so on, right? Um, and so, um, you know, and, and when it comes to that, right, when, 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 when men say this sucks, right, they can sound like they want to kill somebody. This sucks. This sucks, right? When women say this sucks, right, they can sound like they want to die, right? And you could be looking at the same problem. And a 19-year-old girl in England, by the way, just committed suicide because of her fears about the isolation, the COVID-19 pandemic, what's going to happen, right? And her family had some sort of warnings. I just saw this on, on Gab.com, similar to Twitter today. And um, a very a beautiful young blonde girl, right? But if there were men around to say, settle down, right? Like I've done with my girlfriends forever, right? Nothing that's outside of our, this house when it comes to being my girlfriends at her place or mine is gonna screw us up. Anything you see on TV, you run by me. I clarify it in simple or more detailed ways. Whatever works to settle you down again from whatever happened to you in the world. Right. As my delicate, beautiful flower was, you know, banged up a bit, you know, mixing it up with other people. So, um, so, um, you know, and, and it, you could be looking at the same thing. Right. And so you, you need help from men. Right. They need help from men. And uh, there's that classic song, Wonderwall. Right. But, you know, the girl should have a version. Right. Well, maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. Cause after all, you're my wonder balls, for example, right? And, um, and this is also the problem with feminism, like my buddy's grandma said a few years ago, right? And I get it. I get why men would want to man up for women, right? When, when women say men suck, men suck, men suck, until there's a problem, toilet clogged, co coronavirus pandemic, martial law isolation for 18 months in the West while China's back to work in 30 days, doesn't make sense. What are you going to do? What can anyone say or do, right? Um, I get it. But if you do, then the women's auxiliary will kick in. And I've noticed in my own investigations, a lot of it on video, plus discussions with some friends of mine, that people are acting a lot nicer than they just did like a week ago. You know, as this thing drags on, people realize, uh-oh, I need people or I may need people. I can't be a gender-confused, selfish, narcissistic prick, you know, just, just, just annoying the hell out of, you know, people or having them annoy the hell out of me. I've actually got to make sure we're cool, right? People are cool. Neighbors are cooler. People are more thoughtful. Men have a certain respectable and admirable seriousness and busyness about them. And women are compensating by being more relaxed and friendly and contributing to the effort, Effort, right? If you, if a woman, if, if you have a good relationship and she sees you furiously concentrating on something, right? And you're, you're good at being men and good at being women, right? She wants to put you in a good mood, right? You're focused, you're serious, you know, I can beat that or I can help with that, right? Either I can beat that, be gracefully distracting, empowering, and then you can go back to it. Like for example, uh, they say construction workers whistle at girls, but I'm serious. I think the girls started it, right? I think the girls started it. The girls walk by the construction site, guy's hammering something, hoping he doesn't break his finger. Girl walks low, looks cool, tries to feel hot, relaxes a bit, beautiful feminine energy. Guy looks up, Right? Girl cares about her, don't care, just spins around in a circle. Ah, you boys are so silly. Over little old me, and then she walks off, and the guy's like, hmm. And gets in a better mood, starts hammering away. She's in a good mood, validated, just like the birds in the slang term. They just want to get checked out and fly away. That's what you call girls. That's what real birds do. Same thing, right? Um, so, um, so, 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 you know, some thoughts on that. Um, and my, finally, you know, I'll say this, you know, my experience, 
uh, with my history. Uh, you can see the history section at manforwars.com. Uh, it's stuff that nobody likes, uh, uh, nobody wants to talk about. People don't mind if I talk about I make it clear. And people don't mind if I try and do something about it. And at this time, where people are determined to be nicer to each other, we can actually reset this. We can reset this like globally, you know, nationally, but in terms of it happening in different countries around the world, you can reset the gender paradigm where men man up, help other men man up, and then women and children chill out, right? Because the current paradigm is not one that women like. Now, part of it is their fault in terms of what they learn and what they say and all having to say and do the same thing and attacking us in a giant wave run by Oprah and Ellen and other lesbians trying to tell housewives how to be good women for their husbands and wives and mothers. And it's like, what the hell? You know, you know, Ellen's got a woman as a wife, right? Like her husband or however they do it. Why, why would you listen to her to try and be good at being my wife? Never mind. Look, we'll, we'll clean this up later, right? If, if I can explain this to you, then you can still watch. You can still do your fun things, but we'll just make sure they don't screw us up. Okay, good. Um, but, <clears throat> but, you know, my experience is that um, um, even if women absolutely hate something, right? Um, unless, unless, you know, they're really, unless you can be good at being a man and they can be good at being a woman, then they probably won't listen to you anyway. Right. Um, I remember my, my buddy's grandma, um, you know, uh, she was like 90 years old. She told my buddy, right. It's a few years ago. Um, she told my buddy, you know, I feel so sorry for women today. And buddy's like, why is that grandma? And he goes, well, um, before feminism, we used to get whatever we wanted from our men. We just never argued about it. Right. And, you know, so my buddy passed that on to me. I think it's great because it's true. Right. Girls used to get whatever. It wasn't like it. There wasn't a huge history of women complaining about this, that and the other. That's more recent. But that was the guy's job. Right. The guy, the woman, woman wife needs a Oh, sweetie, could you get me a stick of butter to finish cooking? God damn it, woman. I can climb mountains and wrestle grizzly bears. I can get you a stick of butter. I'm out of here. Back in 10 minutes. Right. Oh, thank you, dear. You're so sweet. You're damn right, honey. You're my sweetie. Anything for you. Right. As opposed to. Ah, uh, you better get butter. You know, we're screwed. I don't feel like it. And just watching the game. Well, then the dinner's going to suck and it's going to be your fault. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is all that shit, right? That shit was created and engineered, right? And so that's, that's, a, that's, that's an issue or versions of that shit, right? Um, in my experience is, um, is that women hate, hate, hate what men have become, which is shitty versions of them. And they probably hate that, that, that they've become shitty versions of us, right? But they generally won't try and stop it, even though they absolutely hate it. They absolutely hate, they can't be comfortable near a guy. They're like, hey, how's it going? You know, and the guy starts playing with his hair and the girl's like, ah, it gets all frigid. It's like, I can't do nice girly things with you doing shitty aggro versions of girly things. And, uh, and so I can't be vulnerable and feminine. There's no men around to appreciate it. There's just men around to be shitty versions of it you know, uh, screwing each other up and screwing up women and children, right? And, and whatever, right? And, um, and I, you know, you can see the history section. I've, 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 I've uh, you know, uh, stopped this before because it's really bad. You know, when men bother each other, it's one thing. Strange men bothering women where we live is none of their goddamn business, right? And so I made sure to make that clear, um, you know, a, a few years ago um, when it was, uh, as it started getting worse, and everyone respects it. Everyone respects it. You know, they may say this, may not say that, may feel guilty and, 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 and feel, you know, like you're making them feel worse because they feel guilty for being stupid, right? Um, but my point in saying all this is that women absolutely hate this. And yet every once in a while, not very often, not very often, because it's kind of mean, but as a man, you know, if you're any good at being a man, you can kind of speak more freely if they get to be good at being women, right? So every once in a while, I say, hey, uh, girls, you, you want to do it? Women can do anything men can. You want to do anything about these guys screwing up, messing each other up like shitty versions of you and messing you up and kids up and everyone up? Do you want to talk to them where they feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue and get mad at you because they're, they're a mess and they can't explain it and, and it's just what they do and you don't say anything? They're already embarrassed. Do you want to yell at this guy? Do you want to yell at this guy? Do you want to yell at the hundreds of thousands or millions of guys I've yelled at? You want to? No. Right? They look at you. Girls look at you like like you just sprayed a, a, a cat with a squirt gun. Like, shh, shh. Right? They look at you. Shh. Shut up. I'm like, well, you girls hate this more than you hate anything else. 
and uh, you're not going to do anything about it? Okay, it's just not that bad. So what? This is what we do right now. Blah, 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 blah. We're all a mess near each other. Can't really do much else. Uh, when that being a mess near each other makes it hard to do anything else, be nice, look at, talk to each other, right? They don't, they don't, it's, it's scary. It's weird, right? Um, you know, when guys get jealous if girls are nice and they get mad if girls are mean and it's just like, what the hell, right? So, um, so, 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 you know, even though um, they, they want to, um, you know, and they don't mind, they like me, treat me well. I'm not a bad mood. I'm not you know, trouble talking, this and that, right? And, and other guys, when they can be straight up and cool, same thing. But if men and women can't, I just keep my self-respect. I don't lose mine and take anybody else's. And you might think, wow, you're a weirdo, whatever. Totally understand. None of that's, you know, uh, not true. But I can show you the opposite of what happens when people don't respect you, you don't respect them, you find it tough to do anything with each other, and then, and then you know, you, you're just annoying near strangers. So it's even worse. Whereas if you keep your self-respect, politely ignore it, then uh, they typically like being ignored because they want to stop making everyone they know uncomfortable and being made uncomfortable and making strangers uncomfortable. So they like being ignored and want to stop. Everyone around relaxes and realizes it's safe to mind their business and be less sort of uncomfortable, nervous, sketchy near each other. Uh, less is better than more. And they feel better if you just politely ignore it and, and, and everyone relaxes. Or they know it's safe to be nice to you. Oh, you're not uncomfortable near people. You're kind of a straight up guy, good at it. I can bring out my straight, I cannot lie, look you in the eye. Girls can have eye contact or shy contact, right? Um, and if they're not, you know, trying to force you to put up with them, and you're not trying to force them to put up with you, then fine. And if they are, the next time or next one. Don't be a mess for the next time you interact with that person or the next person you interact with or yourself all the time and everybody else whenever they're unfortunate enough to be near you, right? Um, and uh, and so, you know, they, they feel better and you have self-respect, right? So, so there it is. Um, so I want to make that clear just to just to archetypically break down um, you know, some of these issues here, right? And as I said, COVID-19 operations, why men must fight for their countries with help from the women's auxiliary, right? Because if you don't and nobody else does, then you can't mitigate, uh, you know, uh, the effects of the virus, um, you know, in terms of sharing health tips. You can't be cool and respect each other and pass on better things than just staying at home and washing your hands. You can't mitigate the effects of the quarantine, martial law situation, right? Kind of scary. Don't want to think about it, talk about it, hope it's over soon, right? As opposed to, no, 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 we can push back against this. We can find other places in the world pushing back against this. We can say, hey, government, our government, why aren't you doing what their government's doing, right? Um, and, and so on, or, you know, or here's some analysis, or here's some this, or help people think of it. Look, it, don't believe me. Believe what I saw that, that made me believe it. And... If you uh, agree, great, enjoy. If it's stupid, laugh, smart, enjoy. Uh, and if you don't, and you can convince me that it's stupid, great. Explain it to me. I appreciate your help. Don't waste too much time, yours or mine. But, you know, if it doesn't make sense, let me know why it doesn't make sense. And then I'll stop believing it and I'll make sense too. And I really appreciate that, right? Um, <clears throat> so, so, so men can take a, a more active role on these things. And as is already happening now with, as I said, men being more busy and serious and thoughtful and, 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 and concerned and, you know, having, you know, instead of being, hey, she uncomfortable near me occasionally, instead of these same 6'5", 200 pound guys being uncomfortable, they kind of look at you with a pissed off look on their face, which is great as a man, not a girl, of course, fine, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yep. No, sure, buddy. You know, you can do whatever. You can smile. You can be pissed. You can whatever. It's, it, girls typically make me smile since I was a kid, right? Girls there whatever, relaxes, nice to have a girl there, smile, girl relaxes more, good company, don't argue with you, good stuff, right? If you're not making each other uncomfortable because you're unable to be good at being ladies and gents, so that's key. Um, anyway, um, so so hope this helps. Uh, BK from manforwars.com. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions to work together, financial support as you'd like. Otherwise, I do hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.